You are not broken. You are not a mistake or an extra. You are different from most of the people you know, but that doesn't make you wrong. You were made this way on purpose. When I was growing up, I had no idea what I was doing on this planet. I felt so different from everyone else, and I didn't know why. When I got to college, I realized it was because of my unique personality type. Only 1% of the population of the world are INFJ. We are the most rare. So it makes sense that we are misunderstood so often, even by ourselves. We don't fit into the mold that everyone else does. I spent years trying to fit in with everyone else. I'm a master chameleon that can make everyone think I belong. But at the same time, I was miserable inside and completely unfulfilled. As I got older, I learned more and more about my personality type and I started to embrace my differences rather than reject them or make excuses for them as I had done in the past. I leaned into being an INFJ more and more. It changed my life. It changed my whole perspective on who I am and what I'm doing here on this earth. I started a blog and an Instagram account with the hope of inspiring even just one other person. Later, I started a podcast to connect with other INFJs and I learned that that work filled my soul. It was exactly what I was looking for. I meet so many INFJs who are doing the same thing that I was, morphing themselves into a different version of themselves to please other people. They think that this is the answer, just like I did. But the answer isn't to please others. It's to be more of yourself. It's to learn more about yourself and embrace the things that make you different. Learn about who you are and step into that version of you with full confidence. This is when you are your most authentic INFJ self. This is when you can live that life of meaning and purpose that you desire. It starts with learning about who you are. That's why I wrote my book, The INFJ User Guide, to help you learn about yourself and embrace your personality just the way you are. In my book, The INFJ User Guide, we'll walk through each one of the personality preferences, introvert, intuitive, feeling, and judging. Then we'll take a look at functions and explain them in a way that makes sense to you. We'll talk about the strengths and weaknesses of our personality and how we can use all of them to our advantage. There's nothing here to be ashamed of, only awareness and knowledge to help you improve. We'll also go through how INFJs communicate, how it's different from other types, and how you can communicate better with other types. We'll go through what INFJ relationships look like, what is the best match for an INFJ, and why a lot of us are actually single. And last but not least, we'll talk about your life's purpose. How do you find purpose and meaning in your life and your career? What's the best career for an INFJ and what elements of your everyday life will bring you the most meaning and fulfillment? So again, all of this is in my new book, The INFJ User Guide. I want you to get a copy and to read it, to start to fully understand your real purpose and be your most authentic self. There's a form below me or beside me to get you a copy right now. You can also find a copy on infjwoman.com.